Hey guys, welcome to 6 Minutes for Tuesday, May 24th. Today we are talking Alabama, Freco, Frisson Greco, uh, state championships. We're going to talk, touch a little bit on Louisiana, Freco, state championships, beach nationals, um, and then, um, but before we get to that, and I was going to say, and then we're going to get to this, but I think we're going to do this first. Um, probably the biggest takeaway or um, social media thing that happened this weekend was a lot of discussion related to the lack of attendance at the World Team Trials. And um, this is kind of what started everything off for those of you that are unaware and are interested. Um, this tweet by Mason Beckman, um, kind of scanning the crowd, showing everything that's going on or the lack of a fan attendance uh, of what's going on. So let's, let me show you that first. Okay, so as you can see, it was sparsely attended um, and that prompted pretty much everyone to have an opinion about why. And Willie went on his show and talked about why and, and we had a bunch of different people. I'm sure Flo has got something to say about the situation. Um, and one of the things that was really interesting to me was the number of comments, you know, it being held in Iowa, lack of promotion by USA Wrestling. Um, you know, it's not really the World Team Trials because Final X is, you know, a few weeks away. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And um, I think that that's uh, <laughs> probably only part of the challenges or, or, or the situation. And, you know, Mason didn't really mean to, I don't think he meant to stir the pot, but I think it's an important conversation to have. And it's an important conversation to have because we want the place packed. Now, maybe the middle of Iowa at this time of year is, is not the time to do it. I don't believe that somebody said it was because Freestyle and Greco aren't popular and, you know, everybody comes out for folk style. I, I don't think that that's the case at all. I don't think moving it to, you know, the Northeast, where everybody in the world seems to think that Pennsylvania will have it packed, is a solution. The solution is a, or the problem is, is a lack of promotion and it's a costly trip to be there in person for me from the Southeast to get up there. And, you know, I went to the one that was in North Carolina. Yes, that's kind of the expectation. Um, so, you know, but this is a this is a bigger conversation that has to be had as we move forward. Anyway, I don't want to belabor the point. A lot of people have talked about it. They take a lot of time talking about it, so on and so forth. I simply wanted to make you aware that, um, you know, many of you that follow this uh, are focused on high school style and that sort of thing. Um, but these challenges of how to promote our sport and how to motivate fan attendance and and so on and so forth. Uh, it's at the, the top levels of the sport, which are not good. That's, that's a real challenge. Anyway, on to what we're going to talk about today. Alabama Freco, Huntington, um, and Coach Oliver hosted the Alabama State Tournament. It was so great to see. Uh, here are a few clips that uh, were sent to me. I wasn't there. I was in Tennessee. But here are a few clips of uh, some of the action. Oh, man. And what white class are you wrestling? You're hot. And as you can see from this graphic, we had quite a few double champs. We had seven double champs in 14U a ton of double champs meaning that they were champs in freestyle and greco in 16u and a lot of double champs in juniors that's great kind of um it, there are several individuals on these on this list who i expect to have an excellent summer and should be very very competitive as we move into the duels and fargo and so on and so forth but one of the reasons why we have so many double champs is that our ends for these tournaments aren't huge. And, um, 
And that continues to be a, a struggle as well. And I say, our and so talking about it like I'm a, a, a researcher, our numbers in terms of, of uh, the number of kids that were there and everything else, um, that, that number wasn't very large. So uh, it looked like a great event um, from everything that I saw. Um, and uh, yeah, so congratulations to everyone who made, uh, who won a championship uh, for Alabama. Let's take a little real quick look at Louisiana. And here are our 14U, 16U, and junior double champs in the state of Louisiana. Now, I know we don't cover Louisiana, um, not typically. Um, and this doesn't mean that I'm going to start covering Louisiana. Um, Martin Mueller co covers it down there um, as much as I'd like to. I do consider it a part of the Southeast. But during the course of the season with state championships and high school seasons and everything else, it is exceptionally difficult to do any more than the six states that we currently do. So a tip of the cap to the Louisiana double champs. But the truth is, is you know, this will be a, a dip a toe in, dip a toe out. Um, definitely interested in seeing how um, several of these individuals, Richie Clemente, uh, who is there, um, several others, uh, Spencer, Linsaga, I, I believe is his last name, um, wasn't there, but uh, both should be pushing for spots on the podium uh, in Fargo. So they are definitely ones to watch. And finally, we wrap it up with Beach Nationals and um, got a couple of clips off of Instagram uh, of some of the action at Beach Nationals up in North Carolina. Let's take a look real quick. So, yeah, I don't really know much about Beach Nationals. It looked like it was a fun event. Uh, it looked interesting. Um, I'm not 100% sure of the scoring. Um, you know, all of those sorts of things. Obviously, no, no mat wrestling, no parterre or anything along those lines. Um, everything is done on your feet. Did look like a nice day, though. So, um, you guys will have to give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of Beach Nationals if you went. And if that's something that you think might be kind of on the future or in the future for for wrestling as uh, we get to try to market to more and more people with different and exciting events. Um, last thing I want to say is, and, and I should have said this on Monday, congratulations to everyone who graduated this past this past weekend over the last couple of weeks or will be graduating in the next week or so, whether you're graduating from high school or college. Uh, it is a tip of the cap. It is not, um, it is sometimes, I think, uh, an expectation and a given, but um, certainly you have to work hard to uh, jump through the hoops and do what's necessary. It's a demonstration of your willingness to persevere and uh, continue to work hard uh, as you continue to educate yourself and so on and so forth. So uh, I just want to extend my congratulations to all the graduates. Um, I hope you um, enjoy, uh, you know, your time that uh, you spent in school. And uh, if you're moving on to bigger and better things, wish you the best of luck. Um, tomorrow, I'm hoping we'll talk a little bit about the South Carolina bill that came up about um, women's wrestling. Also, still looking for NHSCA duels uh, rosters. Would love to do something on uh, NHSCAs either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, but I, I need to know who's going to be able to talk about it. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and, uh, yeah, enjoy.